Coach, back-to-back -back wins, just yeah. tell me how you're feeling. Amazing. I um, feel great for the, the players. Um, they've earned these wins, you know, and these, the, the performances are the, are the best part. Um, with both wins, both from clean sheets as well. Um, look, as a, as a team, you know, in our inner circle, we take such a pride in clean sheets as a whole unit, you know, because we all talk about defending together from the front to the back. Um, and we all contributed to the clean sheet today, you know. Controlled the game really well. Controlled the game when we were defending um, how we wanted to. And um, thought we were clinical when we had the ball. You had a big win earlier this week. It's often easy to overlook an opponent with only one win. Just how do you stay focused throughout the week? Yeah, well, that's a big message of ours, honestly. Just, you just got to really play to your best self every single time you play. You can't control the opposition. You know, anyone in our conference is a tough game. San Diego posed a lot of threats early on. Um, you know, and, and they're hungry for a win. You know, uh, well-coached team, good players, they can hurt you, you know. So really have to just come out and say, okay, what are we going to do? What are we going to control? And that was really our own mentality. Three goals tonight, uh, Lindsay, Jackie, and, and Nina, first goal. Just yeah. walk me through those plays. You know, and Lindsay's just been, um, the second half of the season, she's just really been in and around the goals and the chances. So it's one of those that you just want one to go in for her, and then she gets that confidence and that belief, you know. Um, so I'm so proud of her to get that goal today, and she really worked hard for that goal, but she created that chance on her own. Um, draw past the play, and she really earned that goal. I know she got a deflection back from the goalkeeper, but I thought great finish, you know. Um, Jackie, we talked about finding that space on the weak side. Um, drove into the space so well, and great finish. And then Nina, just her first goal of the season, well, for her career, sorry, for us. The first, obviously, first goal for the season too, but, um, you know, she worked so hard when she came on. Um, and just putting the ball into a dangerous area like that, like good things will happen. Do you know what I mean? So I'm really happy for her. Defensively, what does it mean to have back-to-back -back, uh, clean sheets? Oh, it's big time. And it's just like we've talked about consistency so much this season. Um, and you just, as a coach, you look, you want in that consistency so you know what you want out of your team. Um, and we want that to be a trend that continues now, you know? Defensively, or excuse me, in goal, it seems like here has been improving every game. Just what do you see out of her week after week? As the season's gone on, she's gotten more hungry, uh, more hungry to be better and kind of compete with herself, you know, her best self. Um, every single game, she's, it feels like she's taken a step to improving and developing and really engaged during training, really engaged during video. Um, and it's now it's showing on the field. Didn't have a, a lot to do tonight, not much to do in terms of shot stopping, but her organisation and her... Um, her contribution to our clean sheet in terms of making sure that we were just solid with our numbers defensively um, and also keeping the ball with possession was top notch. Kind of right where you want to be in the standings the last few weeks of the season. You're on the road back here. You kind of go back and forth. Yeah. How do you finish strong? Yeah, we're, look, we're still, uh, there's still things that we need to work on. We're, we're still disappointed with our drawing at LMU. You know, with one shot on target for LMU, they, LMU did well to get back in the game, but we can't be going ahead at home and, and end up drawing the game, 1-1, one, one, you know. Um, so where we want to be now, yeah, we're free one-on-one, -on -one, but we should have four wins, in our opinion. You know, So we've got to be hungry and understand that there's no more slip-ups um, in our future if we want to go and be, you know, or want to achieve what we want to achieve at the end of the day and be where we want to be. We've got to go and uh, treat every single game like it's the toughest game that we're going to go and play. And we've got three tough teams coming. Um, but again, being our best self and competing to our best self is going to be the key. Last question, big crowd tonight. How yeah. does that feel you guys throughout the game? Big crowd and we, you know, the cr crowd was so quiet in the first half because they had nothing to cheer about. We, we were kind of sloppy in our play. Didn't really get them off their seats. You know, second half it was pretty lively atmosphere, but we gave them something to cheer about in the second half. You know, there was more shots, crosses, headers, tackles, uh, a lot of the exciting stuff, you know. So we want to keep them entertained, honestly, and keep them coming back, you know. So um, really excited about the crowd, especially all these these young players that, that want to, uh, you know, be in these places one day and look at these guys as role models, you know. Um, so happy with the crowd and hopefully they can come on back.